हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज शोमैन फ्रॉम ऑयल एंड गैस फील्ड क्वालिटी कंट्रोल आवर चैनल इज बेसिकली फॉर द पाइपलाइन एंड पाइपलाइन वेल्डिंग इज वन ऑफ माय फेवरेट सब्जेक्ट पाइपलाइन वेल्डिंग इज हार्ड हाउ टू गेट इनटू पाइपलाइन वेल्डिंग पाइपलाइन वेल्डिंग इज अ कैरियर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर मच ऑफ लाइफ एज यू नो इट एवरीथिंग फ्रॉम द ऑयल एंड गैस इंडस्ट्री टू वाटर पावर chemical processing and other crucial infrastructure relies on pipeline welders to get the job done welding pipe is usually done outside in harsh conditions and unpredictable positions pipeliners are considered some of the most skilled welders in the industry and are rewarded accordingly with respect and pay we will discuss today why pipe welding is so challenging a detailed overview of the essential pipe welding steps and how a pipeline welder career looks like pipeline welding industry nowadays is very developed oil refineries mineral processing facilities cross country pipelines chemical industry food and beverage power generation water and natural gas utilities and construction industry require pipeline welders to join pipes without a pipeline welding industry many essential industries cannot exist making it an evergreen welding career statistics to show you the importance of the pipeline in recent days according to the american petroleum institute or api data more than 190000 miles of liquid petroleum pipelines traverse through usa while the natural gas pipeline account for the vast majority of 2.4 million mile usa pipeline system learning pipeline welding to start as a pipeline welder you must get trained and certified while many certification do not require formal training you have to pass the certification tests technically a pipe welder can teach you everything necessary to pass your certification tests even you have the necessary papers and knowledge you first have to work as an apprentice for a while to learn the real world pipe welding the two most important processes for pipe welding are smaw shielded metal arc welding and gtaw gas tungsten arc welding we are also telling it as tig welding this uh, informations i got from american welding site they have systematic welding schools whereas in our country or in gulf countries uh, generally people are learning from the site only the helpers of a pipeline welder becomes a welder this is very common in pipeline welding industry i am in this industry more than 22 23 years now so i have not seen much welder who are properly methodically trained from a welding school so practical training is most essential rather than the certification the welder test is the only way how to become a welder school is fine but it is not essential to learn pipeline welding this is my opinion from my experience why pipeline welding is hard welding pipe is one of the most challenging tasks and any welding professional can do due to the sheer number of procedures necessary to create a quality pipe weld pipe welding requires versatile skills and a lot of experience couple this with the harsh working condition you can get a job not everyone is meant for one of the most challenging elements of the pipe welding is learning how to transition from one welding position to another as you progress around the circumference of the pipe the 5g and 6g positions are most difficult with 6g being the toughest to master a complete pipe weld is composed of different weld passes and each has its purpose method of applying and variables only a professional with experience understands it pipe welding needs to be done promptly and without fault you cannot fall behind the schedule the repetitive mistakes typically results losing a job provided welding procedures and specification must be rigorously followed and the inspector will make sure that you are following this typical pipeline welder day starts with a morning brief from the foreman where everyone gets their assignments for the day including the number of welds or the inches they must complete 
everyone relies on the welder to achieve the required welds if the welder falls short of the required standard the welder must make repairs which can be problematic and push back the dates so you cannot achieve your schedule welding process welding pipe is typically done with the stick and tig welding process but pipes are also getting welded using fcaw flux core dark welding the welding where is hollow the center contains the flux and gmaw is mig manual inert gas welding and submerged arc welding Teague welding is typically employed when the pipe welded joints must have a high degree of integrity offering the best joint quality free from defects industries like nuclear chemical oil and gas often require teague welded pipe joints mig versus flux code flux code and mig process are often used in combination when pipe welding the flux code or fcaw electrodes can provide fast freeze fluxes allowing large weld beads in all welding positions making them ideal for rapid groove deposits but the fcaw is not very good for a root pass which is where the gmaw is getting used gmaw versus smaw the smaw welding process is the most widely used in the pipe welding industry thanks to its applicability portability and simplicity of the welding equipment for the remainder of the article we will focus on the smaw only because most welders use it in the industry weld passes all pipe welds are composed of a series of individual weld passes each of the passes has its purpose the passes are the root weld pass hot and filler weld pass and the cover weld pass or capping the number of passes necessary to complete a weld joint depending on the pipe thickness and bevel preparation root weld pass is the first weld of the joint its purpose is to establish the depth and contour of the penetration many factors determine how many welders are necessary for a root pass but it is typically best if two welders weld opposite one another because that minimize the pipe distortion hot pass weld after the root pass is complete its slag is removed by chipping and brushing and sometimes grinding if the code requires it there is always a build up of slag that cannot be easily removed and must be burnt using a hot weld pass to avoid undercut a pipe welder needs to ramp up the ampere h output to achieve this the high current quickly melts the metal and traps the slag causing it to float freely and burn away the fast travel speed forms a concave bead making is easy to lay following beads filler weld pass depends greatly on the pipe's characteristics available equipment and the operator skill typically the pipeline welder will try to fill the joint as fast as possible and move on to the next one welding downhill allows you to use more welding power resulting in a higher electrode melting rate additionally pipe welders prefer using a large diameter electrode for the filler passes than for the root and hot passes this provides an even greater metal deposition rate and speeds up the process cover welding pass once the welding is flushed with the pipe or slightly below the pipe flush line the filler welds are complete and you should lay a cover pass or capping the cover pass should not be too wide or overly reinforced excessively large cover passes reduce the pipe strength due to the concentration of stresses in the pipe at the side of the weld the pipe must be able to expand and contract uniformly along its length and an oversized weld will not allow this process to occur optimally vertical down versus vertical up welding pipe welding is done in vertical down or vertical up positions and this is specified in your wps additionally the code you follow and the welding electrode you use also determine which one of the two travel direction to follow for the pipe welding downhill pipe welding allows the operator to run hot and fast which provides better productivity if heat is not an issue the uphill progression is typically considered stronger but it has an increased potential for the burn through and takes longer to complete 
Vertical downpipe welding with cellulosic electrodes like E6010 is generally achieved with high welding currents and travel speeds. The welding method is economical and fast, which is why many cross-country pipelines are welded with a vertical down progression using cellulosic electrodes. Vertical up welding is done with lower currents and travel speeds with low hydrogen or cellulosic electrodes. This result in a lower number of beads with larger dimensions. The low hydrogen rods for vertical up progression can achieve wells with almost no slag entrapment and porosity making them the best choice when rigorous radiographic tests must be passed. Pipe welding positions. The four pipe welding positions 1G, 2G, 5G and 6G each progressively more difficult. Position details if the pipe is stationary, rotating, placed horizontally, vertically or inclined at an angle. 1G welding pipe is placed horizontally and can be rotated along the horizontal axis while the pipe welder remains stationary. This is the most basic pipe joining method with the weld completed on the top of the pipe. 2G welding. The pipe is placed vertically upright and can be rotated along the vertical axis Y while the welder remains stationary. The pipe welder lays the bead horizontally following the sides of the pipe. 5G welding similar to 2G. The pipe is placed horizontally but cannot be rotated. The pipeline welder must move around the pipe with a vertical progression to make the joint. 6G welding, the pipe is inclined at 45 degree plus minus 5 degree, creating a sloping surface just as with 5G. The pipe is fixed and the pipeline welder must move around the pipe in vertical progression. The 6G is the most challenging welding positions to master, requiring a significant level of expertise. Pipeline welders must master and get dedicated certifications for each welding positions if they wish to work the job requiring them. Pipeline welding as a career. Joining tubular product can range from simple pipe sections to work on pipelines with some statistics from USA with the national median pay of 64,000 US dollar and entry level salary of 52,000 US dollar. Pipeline welders are typically expected to travel extensively and cannot rely on the job security. Keep in the mind that while highly paid, you must pay your dues. It is highly responsible job and you will do work hard often over time to obtain 100,000 USD in a year salaries. Still, the ability to work outdoor in a challenging environment is what many people love. Okay, so this was the statistics from USA, but in the Gulf, of course, welders are highly paid, but their salary is not even near to this. It is much less, but of course, as compared to other trades, it is the best paid salary in the pipeline industry. I have detailed video for the total pipeline construction procedure. You can go through it if you are interested. If you like the way of my teaching, please share the channel to your friends. Don't forget to hit the like button. Signing off, Showman.